Welcome back to some more Mechanica. So a few things happened. One, I recorded an entire episode and then actually never hit record. So there's some things that are different. We explored some things, checked some things out, but I can give you the roundup. Do not worry. So we're back playing some more Mechanica. Link down below. It is a Steam game. It is it's a pretty good time. Pretty good time indeed. Yeah, there was an update. They added some things. And one of the things was this lithium right here. So we now have a box of lithium which is required for some of the like crafting of batteries and things and uh you know and and such and such if you will and then let's see what else did we do uh oh we got oil uh there's there's oil now and the smelter let's see the smelter actually requires a type of fuel so if you guys are trying to use the smelter it no longer takes batteries what you have to do is you have to get uh wait didn't i just i didn't grab that lithium oh uh, so if you're trying to smelt things in the beginning, you will actually have to collect wood that you get from these little tree deals. I know it's super cool. Like you can actually like chop them down and do stuff. So what you do is you throw one piece of wood in there and then you throw your two ores in there and then that will allow them to smelt. Uh, it took me a it took me a while to figure that out, but we do have fuel in here. Uh, we went ahead we got some oil. We got some gasolina. I don't think I actually have any right now. I don't, but that's fine. We don't need it anyways. And then I was trying to figure out a way to possibly to possibly have like multiple resources feed into one of these guys. So I was playing with the conveyor belt. Uh, let's go ahead and turn these on. You can kind of see what I mean. So I was like, oh, maybe we can just throw a whole bunch on the conveyor belt and they will just like, uh, you know, go in there on their own. And they do, but they will overload. So if you have too many going in, it will fill up and then they'll start spilling out like yeah so um i don't i don't really know <laughs> so we might actually have to have these hooked up right behind the machines of all the things if we want to uh if we want to do it that way uh might be the best option i you know i don't really know but let's go ahead and throw those back in there we're gonna need the the lithium ingots anyways for more batteries and more stuff and more circuit boards and whatnots we also need uh we need a bunch of oil so uh yes hopefully you guys enjoy like subscribe all the fun things let's go ahead let's get these all thrown in here and one more <gasps> fantastic how many do we have oh 12 38 25 and 13 fantastic i love it i love it so the things that i want to do today in this episode since we already kind of well we already kind of explored this there's another lithium deposit <gasps> oh there's another lithium deposit right there what I want to do is I want to get the, uh, there's an oil pump that you can get. And I'd like to get that going. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Turn that off. And then let's see, storage manufacturing. Where are you? The pump jack. I'd like to get a pump jack. And then there's this chemical refinery as well. So I'd like to get that because it would turn, I believe, the oil into plastic and other petrol and other various items. So I'd like to do that. I'd like to get those two things. And another thing we need to do is we really need to get a plant box going because I'm going to have to get more food. My food and water stitch is uh, it's getting a little low here, just a little low. But I did learn that blueberry muffins are pretty much your best friend. Uh, I can't go that way. I feel like we need a better base pace base place too. <laughs> but blueberry muffins are fantastic because they give you 45 points of hunger and five points of water. Good way to get food and water and only require it requires one wheat and one blueberry. So I like that and it gives you the most of everything. So like I feel like that's super easy. So we definitely need to get some more planter boxes. Let's actually, let's actually make an area. Let's make a little farm area. Should we just put it like right out here? Let's do that. So we'll just set it like right there and we'll put a whole bunch right here so we can plant a whole bunch of goodies. What do these actually take to craft? Let's see, decoration, storage, manufacturing, plant box, stealing it and screws. Not bad. Let's grab some of that. Uh, Hold on, let's go check over here though. Uh oh, this guy's out of power. Okay, so there's 18 in here. Uh, Nope, stop it. Bad, wrong, incorrect. All right, we need some batteries. Uh, do I have any batteries in my inventory? I do, I have a whole bunch of batteries, fantastic. Let's get this guy locked and loaded. Uh, you know what, let's just, put, let's, let's get fancy and put all four in there. Uh-oh, that guy's coming for me. This guy, that guy's coming for you. Also, there's another robot that I've never seen before. Uh, there's totally another robot. It, it like takes pictures of you. So it's probably a bad thing, but it, it's a robot. But then as soon as you like go after it, it runs away, <laughs> so. Uh, let's throw another battery in that one and then same with this yeah we'll throw one in there okay cool so those guys are rock and rolling let's get some uh let's get some planter boxes made up real quick so we need steel fantastic let's go ahead and make some of those oh huh, huh, we're under attack we're under attack he came out of nowhere bad 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 stop it bad bad stupid robot 
Get back. Get back. You gotta be careful. The they do a lot of damage and ooh, screws. Stealing it. I like it. But they do a lot of damage and you don't gain health like super quickly back. So you gotta be careful with that. Anyways, let's get our inventory. Let's get our planter boxes in here and let's get some things planted. Now, I don't think these actually require any water, uh, which is actually quite fantastic. All right, so there's, oh, they snap. Oh no, that's even better. That's so much better. Oh my gosh, they snap together. <laughs> I love it. I lo wait. Okay, it's good. All right. Uh, so potato seeds. I want wheat seeds, wheat seeds, and blueberry seeds. Fantastic. So let's start with the blueberries. Let's get as many of these in here as we can. All right. So we got what twelve in there or something like that. I, you know, I don't. I don't know. It's fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and do wheat on the rest of these. Actually, we'll start from this side. And uh, yeah, we'll just slowly start filling these all up with food. All right. Blueberries, wheat. We could even throw some potatoes in this one. Um. You know what? It's just sitting there. Let's do it. Let's throw some potatoes in here. All right. So potatoes are very dense. You could put so many potatoes into one of those things. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So we have those. We have those. We have that. All right. Now pump jack. That's what I want to get going because we're getting the oil for the fuel and everything. And then once we get fuel and stuff like that going, we get furnaces. We can put furnaces uh, essentially behind everything else. Now, there is some type of there. There is programming. So I'm curious if we can get the furnace to possibly detect. OK, hold on. So if I if I program this object info. So I'm curious if there's a way to hook this up so it can detect if there's actually anything in it. Um, Where's OK? Sensors inputs uh, percentage number distance shoots out invisible beam determines the distance of the surface. Laser tripwire will detect when any robot or player passes through it. Digital clock. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to. Well, let's go look over here because there might be a way when ingot produced turn on. Maybe let's see. OK, so a variable when it's on or events on successful mine attempt. I don't know. I mean, we might be able to link it to a conveyor. So then when this is a successful mine attempt, it'll click the conveyor on. And then when this has a successful mine attempt, it will turn on the furnace. Possibly we would have to wait for every second one. It'd have to be every two because it requires two. I don't know. We'll have to get into that. I, I'm, I'm not actually positive about that, but we'll get into it. OK, so the pump, we need the pump. That's what we need. We need we need some pumping action. We need plastic as well. Let's go. Let's go collect some oil. I know you guys are super excited about the oil collection. Well, guess what? We have this super amazing tool that is actually an oil pump. I know who would have known. Now, in order for this to work, you actually have to have empty barrels in your inventory. Otherwise, it won't fill up anything. So now we have two barrels of oil. So now we should be able to go make, I think, two things of plastic. Uh Oh, we might have company. Maybe I need a gun. I need to go. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> pew, pew. OK, Uh, let's see. So plastic, one of those pump jack, one circuit board. So we're going to need a circuit board and then we need a small screen, a small screen right there. OK. But now we're going to need we have the small screen. We have the battery we have a circuit board. We need two copper wire, two screws. Oh, dang it. What did I do? What did I, I just accidentally made something. Oh, I don't know what it was. And then I need 12 steel ingots and then we'll be good. So actually, I just need I just need steel ingots. All right, let's put these away. Let's consume some blueberries. Oh, my gosh. My food and water is very low. Hold on. Let's grab some water. All right, good. Food and water is maxed out ready to rock and roll. So we need some iron. Look at these things grow. Oh, I love it. I love it. You know what? I'm just saying. These already have farms. Satisfactory? Get on this level. <laughs> Where's the farms? Um, OK, so I need some more iron. 35. You know, I almost feel like we need to we need to get the things automated for the iron bars, the copper bars and the the uh, the uh, the the lithium bars, because then we can make batteries. And it's, if we're automating that, then we'll be able to just like leave everything running all the time. It'll be fantastic. OK, so we're going to wait. You know what? Let's just grab these. Let's get these smelted up. <laughs> 18 I will take it and we should be able to craft ourselves a pump jack all right we've done it now we also need a chemical refinery but that's fine pump jack to start with um I have no idea what it uses or how it works but we're gonna find out here together uh inventory pump jack this guy this guy oh my gosh uh oh it needs an input and an output 
that means it's gonna need probably the barrels. Mm, all right, let's put that there. So it needs power. Drop empty empty barrels here, and then output. Gonna put. Uh. So we need a crafter in order to make barrels. Interesting. How much are conveyor belts? Because I feel like conveyor belts should be relatively cheap. Oh, they are. They're not too expensive. Um, is there any kind of like splitter or anything? There's that. Auto crafter. Hmm. How do we want to do this? You know what? Maybe we should automate. Oh, I would like to get every I would like to get all the resources brought to one central refinery. But that would mean that means we have to make conveyor belts to go all the way from over here to like way over there <laughs> oh my gosh what's a refinery take so a furnace sorry not refinery furnaces aren't too expensive they're actually really cheap the small screen is like the only thing that's kind of kind of a deal but that only requires glass so that's not bad we could put furnaces on all these but honestly like i just i it's hard to justify because these move at such a slow rate we're gonna be burning so much fuel just letting it sit there not do anything which i think is where the programming comes in but i haven't quite got a hold of that yet all right, new plan, another new plan. We have lots of new plans. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this. We are gonna set up miners. We're gonna set up furnaces next to each of these main resources. One for iron, one for copper, one for lithium. Uh, maybe not one for lithium, probably not one for lithium, but one for copper and one for iron. But we're gonna make multiple miners so that way we can constantly be feeding the furnace so i just need a few uh just need a, just uh, just a few auto miners here but i mean we have we actually have a lot of these we are really running out of steel so steel is gonna be the first one we definitely check out for sure so i need a couple of things yeah a couple of things all right so there's a second auto miner ready to go um and i don't think i have enough stuff for another one quite yet we're a little bit low on the oil situation stuff so we'll get to that in a minute. Let's get this set up. The goal is to put multiple miners. How much is actually left here? Oh, 530, 500 out of 1200. You know, it might be time to find somewhere new. I know over this way ish, there was actually a copper and an iron mine, like our, an iron deposit right next to each other, but it was a ways over here. Let's go see how far away it actually is. Maybe it's, maybe it'd be worth it to, to go do that. What's this little, uh, what's this little building right here? I don't remember seeing this little building right here. Also, there's some little dudes over there, like ready. They're just ready to attack. Uh, okay, so there's iron deposits there. There's copper here. What is this building? What is this? There's like a little shipping container here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Now, was this where I thought it? Well, I don't think this was quite where it was. I mean, these are relatively close. Um, I mean, these are completely full. Hmm. Yeah, and these two are completely full too. So, I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. This is pretty far away though. You know what? I think we're just going to finish that one. We'll just get the 500. Uh, that'll give us like 250 iron ingots. That'll be fine. We'll just finish that one off. We can always move later because we're, we're going to have to move eventually anyways to get like other deposits, but that, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, let's get this guy set up right here. Can these like click together? No, darn. All right, I just want to like right. Actually, do we want to right next to each other? Maybe, maybe a little bit away from each other because I'm actually, I'm trying to think like, is this going to be close enough to get this deposit? Maybe. Okay. Hold on. Let's, let's check it out. Let's put a battery in here. Uh, five. Wait, what? It said 517. Now it says 576. Okay. So that's going to work. And then we need to get some conveyors and a furnace over here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I think I think we can make this happen. Let's let that one go for now and let's get some. We're going to have to get some conveyors made um, and then a furnace. Actually, we might be able to place a furnace right in betwixt the let's try this. Hold on. Oh, small thing. If you when you pick up this, you actually ruin your fuel. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to we're going to pick this guy up. We're going to pick this up. Uh, we're going to leave that there for now and we're going to try to get this set up so we can just get some a little teeny tiny bit of automation in here. Uh, that way we're not having to like run back and forth every time. And I'm actually kind of curious if we can get this to go right in between here and we just get two right angled uh, conveyor deals. And hopefully that'll work. Possibly. I don't know. Wait, that attaches to that. Oh, yeah, that's going to attach to there. Okay, let's pick up this guy. Oh, my gosh, that was a mistake. And let's turn this guy off for now. <laughs> so for conveyors, we need a right turn and a left turn. We're going to need one of each. 
So two circuit boards, four copper wire, which means we're going to need one, two for the, what does fuel require? Fuel requires two oil, oh, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna need all that. Good gosh, that's expensive. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna get two oil real quick. We could actually try this guy out. I don't have any batteries with me right now though. Uh, I don't believe, did I grab any batteries? No, okay. All right, so there's that. We have some oil, so we can make one plastic, two plastic. We need to make a fuel because we're not gonna have any fuel to run the furnace. And then two circuit boards and then four copper wire. That's actually not too expensive. So we're gonna need one left turn and one right turn. So let's get those guys out. Um, I don't know how big these things actually are. That connects up like that. And then let's actually pick up this guy. And then I think we should throw the furnace right there. Let's get the other conveyor. I don't know if we're actually gonna hit the like that. And if we put the miner right here, I don't know that that miner's actually gonna reach. All right, let's see here. Oh, it didn't give me my battery back. Oh no, <laughs> it didn't give me my battery back. Come on, that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and get this fueled up. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's wait on that. Ah, oh, it didn't give me my battery back. That's super annoying. Actually, can I take these batteries? No, I can't. I can't take the batteries back. <laughs> All right, we're going to make some batteries. Oh gosh, what do I need for batteries? I think I just need standard stuff, right? Steel, lithium, and copper wire. All right, we got two batteries made. Let's put power in this thing. This is the thing that I don't like, though. I don't like that. I don't like the thing. I don't like that it doesn't give me my battery back. I think we're going to be good. No ore detected. Can I? No, I just put my other one in here. Come on, you stupid. I want to pick up my batteries. Oh, this is, I'm going to lose all these batteries too. You've got to be kidding me. What if we do this instead? Let me pick this guy up, pick this guy up. Oh, oh wait, it, it gave me my battery back. Wait, it gave me one battery back because I put one in before. Once you load that first one, mm, it's done for. She's done skis. Do I have the other conveyor belt? We could always put it right here in front. Let's go grab this other conveyor belt. It's really long, but it'll probably work. It's not there. Uh, oh, it's because it's right here in my inventory. I also realized that I need to actually change the direction of this guy uh, because it needs to have the output facing this way. So like that. And then we're going to put this guy on here. And then this guy, right? Wait, does it attach to the side of these? Does it really? Oh! <gasps> Oh, so I actually wouldn't even need two conveyor belts. I could have both of them running on one. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. All right, let's put that there. Uh, that should detect ore. <laughs> should have a zero issue. Put a battery in. Turn it on. Oh, okay, I was about to say, I was about to freak out. I'm like, what do you mean no ore detected? There's that, there's that. Uh, let's turn that on. Let's turn that on. And then let's get some fuel in here. Actually, I don't think I actually have to have it selected. I think if I just have it, oh, nope, you have to have it selected. Fill up the fuel tank. Is it seriously gonna get stuck on the corners? Turn it on. I think it'll still grab it. Oh, it totally does. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 555. Uh, you know what? I can live with that. I can live with that. Uh, let's get this guy put right here. Call it good. Uh, I don't need you and I'll select that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put our iron that I don't have. And they're fantastic. We are off to the races. We are automatically doing stuff. My goodness, we have conveyor belts. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna do the same thing on the copper. Honestly, iron is really what I need. Like this is specifically what I need the most of. I have so much copper right now, just chilling. Um, glass would probably be good because we're gonna start needing some glass as well. But everything else I'm not super worried about right now. I mean, lithium, yeah, we're going to manually throw it in there. That's not that big of a deal. Water, I should put a storage out for water. Why don't I do that? There, look at that. We have a water storage too. Fantastic. So we got some slight automation going. Um, I don't have a battery for you. Oh my gosh, look how much lithium we're getting off this though. That is fantastic. How much is left here? Oh, no power. Okay. So I want to look at my programming tool again. Programming variables. As fuel is on, events on ingot produced, turn off possibly. Functions turn on object info. Let's link this with that and that. And then let's get this guy hooked up. Okay, so linked objects, functions, 
variables, events, linked objects, auto minor one, turn on, turn off, get variable, get listener. What is that? Event listener on successful mine attempt. Okay, let's try this. So on, on successful mine attempt for minor one and on successful mine attempt for the second one, we want the thing to turn on. Okay, so that turn on and then let's see here. Uh, event on ingot produced. Oh, turn on. And then on ingot produced, we want it to turn off. Is that gonna work? On successful mine attempt, turn it on. And then when it's done, I want to... Oh, wait, hold on. It worked. It worked. No way. <laughs> it actually worked. And then it produces and then it turns on. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You know what? We could have put the furnace in the middle of the pit and just put the miners right directly on it. That probably would have worked better. It actually worked. I can't even believe that. I can't even believe that. Not for a minute. It is actually fully functioning right now. I mean, it doesn't save a lot of fuel, but it saves a little bit. Guys, it is actually semi working. I mean, it's just turning off and on. <gasps> I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. I can't. <laughs> we did a thing. We automated something and we programmed it. Oh, that is so cool. I love it. I love it. The programming. I got to say the program is uh, so far. If I figured that out, <laughs> I bet you there's uh, some people that are going to make some much, much better things than I. But that was the first I'm, I'm amazed. Absolutely amazed. But uh, yeah, that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Uh, next episode, we're probably going to do the similar thing with copper. Uh, how many things are left? I mean, we still have over 500, so we have plenty here. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm mind blown. I'm blown away. But uh, yes, thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Like, subscribe, all the fun things, bell icons, notifications, all the things. Thank you so much. You guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one.